Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. I'm a relationship mentor and I specialise in healing attachment styles so that you can feel secure and fulfilled in your relationships. And in today's video, I'm going to go through the top reasons why you might be struggling when it comes to reprogramming your subconscious mind. So maybe you've got a really stubborn belief that you're really trying to change and for the life of you, you always sort of end up slipping back into the old belief. So stick around to the end of the video. I will give you all of my hints and tips. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing to this channel and giving this video a like so that other people can see it and they can apply this to their own lives and have the relationships that they want as well. So let's dive in. So we know from subconscious mind reprogramming, we know that we pick up subconscious beliefs and subconscious behaviours that sort of weave their way into our lives, weave their way into everyday lives. And this can produce quite dysfunctional patterns, particularly when it comes to our relationships. And these are really rooted in childhood. So the pattern starts with um, a trauma that's experienced and we believe certain things about ourselves as a result of that trauma. Now, trauma can be something that's happened once that had a really profound effect on our subconscious mind and impressed it. Or it could be small traumas that happened over a period of time that had the same effect. So... When we go in and try to reprogram these beliefs and reprogram these behaviours, we might do a really, really good job of going into meditation, doing all the techniques that we can and spending all this time trying to reprogram a belief. Um, but for whatever reason, that belief just keeps on sticking around. And I had this with the belief of I'm not worthy. That stuck like glue and it took me years to really pick through that belief and um, and heal it so that it no longer runs in the background it's no longer running my life anymore and when I healed that belief lots of opportunities happened for me and you know I felt more confident in what I was doing I felt more um, more confident within my own skin um, as a person I felt more worthy and I felt like I deserved a lot more from life than what I was getting so the main reason um, that you might be really struggling to reprogram a belief, um, a pattern of behaviour or a, an entire belief system is that you may well be doing the meditation. You may well be putting yourself in meditation as the person who has the belief that you want, but that might be where the work ends. So the trick is, yes, you're there in meditation, but the trick is to really continue that in your everyday life. So how do you counteract this? Uh, let me give you an example. So say if um, you have a belief that you're not worthy, you'll go into meditation, you'll put yourself in the position of somebody that believes that they're worthy. You can really submerge yourself into the consciousness of a worthy person, but you come out of meditation and you immediately start questioning yourself. You immediately start telling yourself that really you're not worthy of certain things, so the certain things that you want, for example. So the way to counteract this is to intend to bring this into your daily life and attempt to anchor it into everyday activities. And one good way of doing this is take um, a day to day activity like mine was making a cup of tea. So I would ask myself, how would a worthy person make a cup of tea? and do that and even like with showers for example when you get in the shower how does a worthy person shower what is different about this experience now that i'm a worthy person so that is how you really anchor it into your day-to-day -day life and when you start asking yourself this these questions not necessarily that making a cup of tea was any different before when I felt unworthy, but it brought the feeling up and that's what you want because to reprogram the subconscious mind, it's repetition plus feeling. That's how you set a belief into the subconscious and that's how you anchor it in. Um, so try that for a few days. So if you're really struggling and you can get there in meditation when the conscious mind isn't running the show and you know it's not sort of interrupting you, um, but try and take that into your everyday life. Um, another reason why you might be struggling to reprogram um, a desired belief is remembering that you've had this belief for an awful long time. So the second pitfall is expecting overnight change. 
I would definitely discourage you from setting that sort of expectation with yourself because a lot of these beliefs you've had forever, it isn't going to be something that's going to change overnight. So I encourage you to give yourself some grace. If you fall back into the old belief, it's okay. It's not a problem. Get back on when you can. So when this happens and when you give yourself grace, just think of it more as you're moving the needle. So whatever technique you're using, whether it's visualization, whether it's journaling, whether you're using affirmations to change a belief, just know that whatever it is that you're doing is making some sort of difference, even if you don't notice it. Just trust that it is working. Trust that it is going to make a difference to you and not sort of expect a belief that you've had for years and years, maybe in decades to change overnight. Because what then happens is when it doesn't change overnight, you might find yourself feeling particularly discouraged. You might find yourself, you know, really beating yourself up for thinking the wrong thing or believing the wrong thing. Um, so it's important to sort of recognise that, you know, this is a process and it isn't something that's going to happen instantly. You might be able to get into the feeling instantly, but to make lasting change, really, it takes consistency over a number of weeks. So cut yourself some slack and just do your best. The intention is there and the intention to change is good enough. Which brings me on to my next point. So the third reason why you might be struggling to really make lasting changes uh, in subconscious mind reprogramming is consistency. So what I mean by that is that you haven't got a daily practice and some people sort of come to me, some, some of my clients have certainly come to me and they've really tried, but there isn't actually any consistency that they will affirm that they're worthy and then in the next minute act like an unworthy person. So you really got to become consistent with it and make it into a practice. Maybe it's something that you want to fit into your morning or nighttime routine. I personally like to meditate before I go to sleep and meditate on feeling loved and med meditate on feeling wanted and um, and worthy and of the things that I want. And I think about who I want to be the next day. Doesn't mean it has to happen the next day. But I set the intention. That's how I want to wake up. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. But the main uh, the main key here is consistency with what you're doing. So try and even if it's five minutes a day, try and fit that into your day in some way every day and do it for a month and see where you are at the end of the month when you've done this. So those are my top three reasons why you might be struggling and how to rectify them. Um, if you have any questions, put a comment uh, in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.